This soap has brought my skin back to life. Take a break and enjoy some oddly satisfying soap cutting. Talking to the moon it by myself Talking to the moon How do I cut my giant slab soaps into bars? Well, I start off by cutting them into loaves using my log splitter. What's cool about this is you get really sharp lines on the side and you can also see the inside design. We'll take that loaf and transfer it over to my single bar cutter and I'll individually cut every single bar from the loaf. The soap I'm cutting right now is actually my fizzy official soap bar because it has the colors of my profile picture slash logo. It smells like sweet grapefruit because it's one of my favorite scents and it is actually made with shea butter and available on my website right now. And here is one of my favorite side swirls from the loaf we just cut. Confetti soap. Y'all, I have been wanting to do this confetti soap for the longest time, and I finally found a moment to do it. So this is a three-layered confetti soap. Yes, it's layered. It's not swirled for those of you who have been wanting to see a layered soap. And I did mica lines in between. Anyways, I started off with this really beautiful teal color, then did a yellow mica line. After that, I did the orange layer and then did a teal mica line and followed it up with a yellow layer. And then I mixed some of the yellow and the orange together to create a beautiful sunset color to top it off and then did my swirl. But I didn't stop there. I did some rainbow salts on the side, which I love how it turned out. And I'm gonna call this one Waikiki Shores because I really wanna visit Hawaii one day. It's actually been on my mind a lot lately. I want to visit, hopefully soon. Anyways, thank you for watching, and part two should be up.